Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Halt. Before we get started, make sure to hit the notification bell icon so that you never miss a notification from our channel. So let's get started. Open Illustrator. Take a new file. Take a rectangle tool. Hold down Shift key. Shift click and drag to make a perfect square. Turn on the layers panel. We'll also put a rectangle in the background with a darker color. So draw a rectangle which is the size of your artboard and we do not want the stroke now we'll put this rectangle on another layer so cut ctrl x and ctrl d so layer 2 is having this rectangle with black color and we'll drag layer 1 above layer 2. And also we will lock layer 2. So this is our background and it is locked. Now coming to layer 1 which contains a rectangle which is a square we do not want fill so we'll remove the fill color by setting the fill to none and on the stroke we'll take any other color so that it's visible now we'll take the direct selection tool and select the anchor points click on Cut path at selected anchor point. Select the anchor point and click and click. So this is the output we get. We have these four different paths and these are aligned properly. Take selection tool and click drag to select all the parts click on stroke in the width enter 30 click on cap rounded cap here enter dashed line 0 And you can write down 40, click. Now in the profile, width profile, we'll select width profile 4. So we'll get something like this. Okay, so you can play with the settings until you are satisfied with the output. And this can be achieved using many different methods. I'll be showing you a couple of them. So this is one of the methods which is the easiest one. Next is select this complete thing, Control G, Control G to make a group or, or you can right click and click on group. We go to effect distort and transform transform you have this transform effect dialog box enter 90 90 and turn on the preview you can enter a number of copies and you can play with the settings so you can simply play with the settings and see 
what works best for you. So like this. You can make the settings, check for yourself. When you are satisfied with the result, click on OK. Also you can change the colors. Double click as this is a group. It is an isolated group. So click on the first line and then you can take some other colors. You can select any color. And double click outside and this is our first output we'll make another pattern using an ellipse so this is example one next one is we'll take another layer we'll take ellipse tool hold down shift key for a perfect circle And we'll enter the stroke size 40 it will take the default settings which we have done previously again we'll take direct selection tool and we'll select these two points these two anchor points and click on cut path okay so now this circle is divided into two this and this Okay, so click on stroke, rest of the settings from here it is done only, we can keep it as it is, just we need to change the profile, so we'll change the profile to this one, okay, so we have something like this, see if you feel that the profile is coming like this, okay, so this is going like this and it's coming like this you want to reflect it simply click on flip along so that you get this output now select both of them and control G effect distorted transform click on transform again make same settings enter some angle and click turn on the preview take a number of copies and then you can make changes so you can play with the settings and when you are satisfied with the result Just click on OK. Double click and click if you want to change the color. So let's make it something else. So this is the second option, uh, the second pattern. Now we'll see one more. We'll take another layer, hold down shift key, again we'll take the stroke size, let's make it 10 and now what we'll do is we'll click on direct selection tool, this time we are going to select two anchor points cut path and again these two and cut that means we have these four different arcs this circle is divided into four equal paths now what we are going to do next is select the complete thing stroke we'll set the stroke to 30 
press enter and select the width profile 4 so we have something like this again we'll press ctrl G effect distort and transform transform and just play with the settings we'll put scaling to 90% and angle will set to 12 copies 12 turn on the preview and then you can after turning on the preview you can enter the values and check for yourself when you're satisfied Again, we'll double click. We'll change the shape. So we have this output. So we have one, two, and three different outputs. Now, same thing can be done in many different ways okay this is one method which is the easiest one another method I'll show you one more method also what you can do is I'll show you with the rectangle you can try this with the circle one also so you can take this rectangle and we'll increase the stroke size and then we'll take the paths we'll select any two of them cut and again select two nodes cut so that it is divided into four equal paths now instead of taking uh, the dots from here actually we have selected dashed line this time we are not going to select dashed line instead of dashed line Okay, suppose this is a solid line what you can do is you can take ellipse so basically we have taken two shapes and we want the fill we do not want stroke so we'll swap the fill and stroke we'll select both of them and object blend make so you see we get similar effect and then double click on the blend tool click on specified steps turn on the preview but make sure that these circles should not touch each other so you have to come to a point where these circles do not touch each other and then click on ok select this path and one of the lines object blend replace spine okay now what we are going to do is select this line dotted line and alt click and drag make sure your smart guides are on so you have to place it exactly like this and right click transform reflect okay you have to reflect like this okay so you have it something like this now click on ctrl y to turn on the outline mode so that you can see it should match perfectly okay so select both of them and you can also match the lefts horizontal align left you have to align to selection so select align to selection 
and then horizontal align left okay now what we are going to do is select both of them and control C control C for copy and paste in front okay paste in front now hold down shift key shift click and when you see this arrow that means you can rotate okay and then release see when you come on the corners you see this arrow getting converted to this rounded arrow okay so this is for rotation so one time if you press holding down shift key it will rotate 45 degrees again if you rotate it once more again 45 that means if you rotate it twice it will rotate 90 degrees okay so now we need to match it perfectly so we'll zoom see these lines are not matching perfectly right now we need to match them so this has to match properly you need to take the zoom tool and press Z click and drag for zoom tool and simply align it properly so now this line is not required these were the other lines which we have drawn earlier so we don't need that anymore so we'll match these perfectly now press Z click drag and then click and match this perfectly here remember it should match perfectly control minus Z click drag control minus and this will automatically get aligned now we'll come out of the outline mode press ctrl y so we are out of the outline mode okay so this is the output which we get using the blend method now again we are going to select the complete thing click drag to select all of them ctrl g for group or or you can go to object group okay object group ctrl g and go to effect distort and transform transform and again we are going to enter 90 90 enter the angle and enter the number of copies and then you can see the output when you are satisfied with the output then you can click on ok ok suppose now you want to edit something over here you can go to appearance panel ok appearance panel you will find in window in window you have this appearance panel shift f6 is the short key so you have this transform effect double click and you can enter the angle turn on the preview but this should be selected see it was not selected we have to select this then double click on the transform panel and then you know, click on preview and then you can make changes over here like this and once you are satisfied with the output you can simply click on ok so you have this output if you have learned something from our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and do not forget to like and share our videos. See you in the next video. Till next time, stay safe and stick around.